This video will show different ways to powder coat lead heads and jigs with Illumiglow Glow in the Dark powder paints. You see the before and after photos here. If you haven't checked out our other videos comparing Illumiglow powder paints versus Protec powder paints, you can check out those videos below. In this video, I'll show how you can powder paint your jigs using Illumiglow Glow in the Dark powder paints. I'll start off with a small jig head that you see here, and then I'll move on to a larger jig like this. This is a Iron Man 5. It's a small, fairly small yo-yo iron, obviously without its hooks and its ring on it. And there's two different ways that we're going to powder paint these jigs. So for the small lead heads, we're going to use the jars in front of me and this heat gun. And for the larger jigs, we're going to use this fluidized bed and an oven. So let me get started and show you how it's done. We have three jars of powder paint, white, glow-in-the-dark red, and finally clear. Now before I start, I have to shake up the jars to make sure the powder paint is loosened. If I don't do this, it can be hard to get an even coat on the lead head that I'm going to try to paint, and then the jig that comes after it later on. You'll also see in this video that I'm going to use a paper clip, and this is going to be used to help remove some of the paint that might get stuck in the hook eye of the jig. So you'll see why I need to do that in a few minutes as well. Now the first thing I need to do is to heat the lead head. I'm using a heat gun to do this. You can try using a butane torch or an alcohol lamp. Those work well most of the time too. This heat gun is old, so I actually have it on its high setting. You want to be careful with your heat gun for number one, that it's not too hot, and number two, that you don't get the lead too close to it because it can melt, especially on smaller jigs. Once my lead head is heated, I'll immediately dip it into the white powder paint and then reheat it again for a few more seconds. Now dipping in the white powder paint is technically an optional step, but I do do it so that I can enhance the glow brightness and duration of my jigs. And you'll see that this jig came out nice and smooth in its white coating upon that first dip. So I'll heat that jig up again and then next I'll drop it into the glow in the dark red powder paint very quickly or as quickly as I can. I'll heat the jig up again for a second time and then I'll dip it into the powder paint, the glow in the dark red powder paint again once more. And at this point some of the paint starts to get into the hook eye so I'll take that paper clip and then slowly pass it through the hook eye, let it sit for a second and then pull it back out. That usually clears the hook eye out 99 percent of the time. I'll heat the jig again and this time I'll finally dip it into the clear powder paint. Again, this step is actually not essential either, but I do do it so that I can have the highest gloss finish possible. Lastly, I'll re warm the jig one last time before putting it into the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes to give it a nice hard cure coat. I still have a little bit of powder paint coating the hook eye, so I'll take that paper clip one last time, pass it through that hook eye, and then remove it. Heat the jig up again, and now I should have a clean space to pass my line through. Next up, I have a small yo-yo jig. This one is an Iron Man 5 without its ring or its hooks. I use the same white, glow-in-the-dark red, and clear powder paints that I used for the first lead head that you just saw. But this time I'll be using a fluidized bed, which really gives the best results in terms of speed, cost savings, and consistency. I even coat my jig heads, or my lead heads, in, in the fluidized bed as well. I'll also be using a paper clip again, but this time in a different way. This time I'll be passing the paper clip through the hook eye, or the ring eye of the jig, so I can dip it into the fluid bed once or twice very quickly and very easily, and put it into the oven for curing. So let me get started with that. The first thing I'll do is fill the tube with plain white powder paint. The best way to do this is to turn the fluid bed pump on medium and add powder paint one spoonful after the other. If you turn on the air pump after you've added all of the powder paint, you'll notice that as the air rises up through the column, when you turn that pump on, you'll push a lot of the powder paint out over the side and you'll lose a great deal of it. So don't do that. The best way to do it is to go slow and steady Turn that air pump on medium and then slowly add spoonful by spoonful portions of the powder paint. The powder in the fluid bed should look like it's boiling as the air is coming up through it from the bottom. 
If you have your air on too high, you'll see the powder will start to exit the tube and start to overflow. And if you have it on too low, you'll notice that it doesn't have that boiling look to it. Now I've finally warmed the jig up in the oven and it's ready for its first coat of white powder paint. I'll quickly dip it into the fluid bed and then pull it back out before placing it in the oven for a few more minutes to warm up again. Now while the jig is warming, I'll clean up the area and begin to add the glow red powder paint. When I take the jig out of the oven, I'll dip it in the glow powder paint. You can do this one to three times. I would not recommend dipping more than three times because the benefit you get for a longer or brighter glow duration starts to diminish. I'll put the jig back in the oven for a few minutes, clean the area again, and then finally add clear powder paint to the fluid bed. When the jig comes out of the oven, I'll dip it one or two more times. Then I'll put the jig back in the oven for it to cure at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes. But before I put the jig in the oven, I'm going to take a fresh paper clip and put it through the bottom eyelet of the jig and then remove the previous paper clip. This ensures that material does not stick to it during curing. Here's what the jigs look like after they've cured and then after when they're glowing. You can go through the same process to coat sinkers and larger jigs too. Aluma Glow Powder Paints come in seven different colors, and if you haven't seen our previous video showing glow brightness and durations, you can check them out here. Thanks for watching.